that you guys can join us today hopefully I will actually finish today's vlog <laughs> it's taking some steps Samuel is busy walking aren't you are you busy walking you gonna show us some of those steps why don't you get up and show us some of those steps no come on Maddie can you turn that down just a hair show us some walking <laughs> You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> oh, mom's talking to me. Um, anyway, I haven't completed a vlog in, uh, I don't know, over a week at least since we moved in. It's just been kind of crazy. Um, but we're getting settled in and I feel a little bit more, um, like myself I just really got wiped out with the move I've been working super hard for the last couple of months getting ready for the move and then the move was kind of crazy so um, yeah everything is starting to kind of fall into place getting into more of a routine everybody had some adjustments to do you know getting used to a new community and a new house and then to Jacob being gone into boot camp it's just been whew, it's been a lot Sit you guys in here. I'm making Maddie another strawberry jam biscuit, huh? I want yes. I think we need here. Um, and then another really wonderful thing that's going to happen on Friday is Gavin is coming to stay with us for a while, and that just makes this mama's heart feel much more complete. <laughs> he just took like four more steps. So I thought I would vlog I have some vlogs to get edited like I don't know one or two so I'm gonna try to do that today um, we are homeschooling today we are getting some chores done I'm putting in a grocery order today um, what else my goal is to cook and stick to the meal plan all week long I'm using um, a happy planner right now and so I filled it all out last night 
and just I just feel good like I feel like my old self getting everything kind of back in order I don't function well in you know disorganized chaos so I feel a lot better at least having that and um, we'll see how it goes but we're loving the house it's absolutely gorgeous um, the kids have a lot of friends in the community already and so things are pretty good things are pretty good um, moving is always stressful no matter how many times we've done it and we've done it a lot um, so it's just um, it just takes a bit but anyway I hope to show you guys more of the house today in the last vlog I think I showed some of um, the little boys room upstairs but hopefully you'll get to see much more some of the rooms are still not fully you know complete and done but it's all just a work in progress <laughs> that's two steps can we have a couple more can we have a couple sorry say excuse me can we have a couple more Let's say not while you're watching me it's actually his nap time now you want me to pick you up yeah um, so, um, he takes a nap. Yeah, he takes a nap about this time. Maybe a little later. His morning nap. So, I am going to make the bed real quick and then put my grocery order in. And then we are going to get schoolwork done for Maddie. She is not to play or be on phones or anything until her schoolwork's done. So, that's what we have to do to ensure that things get done because things have not been getting done this past week and I think it's just everybody's just struggling to kind of like get back into a routine myself included so I'm kind of having to be way strict today much more strict than I have been so anyways I'm gonna bring you guys along I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and if so give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and if you're new here please subscribe if you want to <laughs> recording <laughs> I thought I was recording and I wasn't so we're running down to the mailbox Maddie's finished with her homeschool she did really good on it today and yay 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 and we are going to put this letter in the mail for Jake and check the mail it probably hasn't run yet but I'm gonna check it anyway it, doesn't run until like seven. it runs late in this neighborhood Morning. sometimes this is I like a community mailbox area where all of the mailboxes are in one place. So anyway, um, I'm gonna put this in. I wanted to show you real quick. I got a wax seal last night at, at Michael's. I don't know, can you guys see that? It's like a wax seal type thing that I got and I really love it. So anyways, I'm gonna go mail this off and see if there's any mail. All right, no mail as we suspected. <coughs> 
that's all right we'll just come back later so we are going to head back to the house all right I still have not put my grocery order in, so I'm gonna do that. Maddie is finished with her homeschool, which is so amazing. It never happens this early. Mason's working on his right now, and they just ran outside, so this is the perfect opportunity for me to get this grocery order put in. I worked on it all night last night, or all evening, I should say, um, before I went to bed. And so I thought I would show you guys kind of the way I meal planned and what I did. Um, I literally took every recipe out of this recipe book from the mountains of North Carolina, which is where my family's from. And this is a recipe book, like an old church recipe book. And so my aunt has some recipes in here. So I just went through here. I haven't had, you know, some of these older recipes in a while. And I just chose stuff just out of this book so that I would kind of know where I got the recipes and it would be pretty easy. I'm using this Pioneer Woman Meal Planner. Um, I got this at Walmart and I'll show you just a peek real quick before I show you what the meal plan looks like this week. All right, so I found this at Walmart like near where the book section was and it has a meal planner and then it has a couple of like grocery list notepads um, so it's got a few recipes in the front and then it's got space for breakfast for lunch for dinners and then like snacks and treats so I basically just kind of went through this is what I came up with and then I went back through the, um, I wrote down the recipes on this notepad and what page they're on in here to make it even easier. Went through, I made my grocery list, let's see, and put it in my planner. So I have the pantry list and I have the fridge freezer list and so now I'm getting ready to put an order in, I guess at just depends if Harris Teeter has a delivery time today I'll use them if they don't then I may have to do an instacart um, delivery however I don't have a subscription with instacart so I do have to pay every time I use them and they're expensive so I don't know if I'm going to do that or not um, it might even be cheaper for me to sign up for like a subscription with them but I don't know if I want to do that yet so I'm gonna go ahead and submit this. It usually takes me like 30 minutes to put my order in and at least that will be done. Hi you guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. The house is kind of a mess, so I'm gonna start cleaning up a little bit. Um, the kids have already had their breakfast. It's like after lunch time now. I just put the baby down for his nap and so yeah, I've got some chores to do. I filled out my planner today. I'm using a happy planner. And so I spent some time trying to get things organized and I feel like I am on a good track. So things have just been like, you know how summertime can just be a little bit, you start to feel like things are just kind of however, whenever, and you don't have a lot of a schedule. So I'm kind of tired of that and I'm wanting to get back on a schedule. So. I took some time to fill out my planner. This is just a simple happy planner that I got from Walmart. And um, I usually use the Erin Condren, but I just picked this up just to have something that I could go ahead and start working on. And so I did do a little bit of decorating and everything, which I sometimes do, sometimes don't do. Just depends on how much time I have. Um, but I did all kinds of stuff today for this week. It's a little chaotic looking, but that's okay. Um, so I have made out like my cleaning list and what I want to do as far as YouTube goes, some weekly goals and my meal plan for the week I put down here. Um, yeah, so I am just excited to kind of be back on track and have a little bit of a plan. So what I'm going to do is keep my planner out and open all week long so that it doesn't fall to the background and I forget about it. So that should help keep me on track. I have kind of a big mess here with all of my planner supplies. I just kind of keep them in these bins 
and then just tuck them away in my nightstand drawer. This is, that's kind of where I keep my, my planner stuff. So after the baby wakes up, I can put that away, but I just have some random stuff all over the counters that needs to be put away. Um, we are mostly unpacked and, oh, hello, focus. We're mostly unpacked and everything, which is good, but I am um, still trying to decorate and we uh, purchased some new couches. Actually, it's a large couch, it's like a large sectional. So um, it won't be in until August, like mid-August. So we're just making do with what we have. These poor couches are falling apart. And um, actually, <laughs> um, there's like, some of the staples or something i don't even know that's like holding it together are coming out and have like hurt the kids so it's definitely time for a new couch so i can't wait to get that but yeah um i'm just trying to update you on what we're working on i'm currently working on the homeschool room we are gonna get some new desks for the kids for this coming school year and some new bookshelves so i'm working on that and getting that organized i spent a lot of time last night printing off stuff for the new school year Mama, no fences oh let's not fuss and argue okay yeah all right we, we've got a good bit of tidying up that we need to do so we are i had that chair in here which i'm going to move that out and put that in the um master um our homeschool carts are over there the table is actually going to go so i've decided not to keep this table hang on one second all right so um this along this wall right here i'm going to put the kids desks so my plan is to have two kind of larger desks for mason and maddie and then a smaller one for solomon this will go and then in the middle of this room i'm going to have a very small like toddler um, activity table in the middle of the room so that Samuel and Solomon will kind of have somewhere to do some activities while the older kids are working. And then I guess I will be keeping that desk there um, for myself, but I'm planning to get some matching um, shelves that are made similar to this desk to kind of tie that desk into the space. And I'm gonna have uh, one bookshelf there and one there that match that. Um, my husband is, talking about painting this um, piano like white of some sort maybe like an antiquish white or a plain white i don't know but that's going to be painted um also at some point and then um i'm probably going to move that piece of art over here i might or i may take it out of the room completely because we do need even though it's like not super pretty i do need the space on the wall for um things like um dry erase boards and like posters and any kind of like learning material for the kids because there are some things that we do use a lot of and i want to end the room so um i definitely am trying to prioritize functionality over appearance but i don't want it to be super cluttered but i also want to have what we need at our fingertips so this year we are going to continue with CC in the CC community, and um, that won't be our only curriculum. We are gonna continue pretty much using the same things that we've used in the past, with the exception that Mason will be doing the Essentials Program for Language Arts this year, um, but Maddie will continue with her Horizons Math, Mason will continue with his teaching textbooks online, and then I am busy putting together our history and science and um, electives and also I'm putting together their um, CC memory work learning notebooks they'll have like notebooking pages so um, yeah I'm having a good time putting it together just really started yesterday getting all the curriculum and everything sort of organized I'm waiting on some things to come in the mail and I'm just now starting on their CC notebook so all of that should come in a later video if you're interested I will do some designated homeschooling videos so that's coming soon but like this bookshelf is just a hodgepodge of like too much random stuff and i really feel like i need two bookshelves in here there's so many books always and then that um 
bookshelf over there holds the majority of the curriculum that we're not currently using, but I refuse to get rid of because we have more kids to homeschool. So, and curriculum is not cheap. So anyway, um, there's so much, there's so much to share with you guys because I've been gone so long and I'm battling a cold. So please bear with me with this cold. Um, but yeah, so that's just like a little sneak peek of kind of <laughs> the mess and chaos that is that room there. I was going to show you this cute dress that I got at Target yesterday. It reminds me of Belle, <laughs> like Belle's dress. So let me see if I can show you guys. Um, the tank is probably not exactly the right thing because it kind of cuts in a lot and it's a little annoying. I should probably get one that fits a little bit better. But you can't really see all of it. Let's see if I can give you a better look. Anyway, it comes like way down and it has pockets and the back is super cute. It has this little buckle and I just love it. I feel like I look like Belle <laughs> from Beauty and the Beast, <laughs> but I love it so much. I got it at Target last night. I think it was on sale, um, but yeah, this is driving me nuts. So I may have to do something about that. I might just put like a t-shirt on underneath. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm working on. I am probably going to order the bookshelves today. I wanted to order the desks, but they're expensive. So I might wait on that and opt for the bookshelves first and then we'll go for the shelves. I mean for the desks. Um, a little later I don't know I'm trying to decide I'm not real sure I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled on Facebook marketplace and maybe I can get lucky and find the bookshelves on there I highly doubt I'll find the desk that I want on Facebook marketplace but we'll see all right you guys I had to change because I couldn't find the shirt that I needed to go under that dress so that it would stop annoying me so here is a shirt I got from Target and a skirt, actually the same I got yesterday with the dress. So let me show you this one, which I really love. I actually may go back and get a few more of these tanks because I just like the way that they fit. So I got this skirt. I wish you guys could see, let me see. Maybe if I put you guys over here, okay. So here's the skirt and the tank and I love it, love it, love it. So I'll probably go back and get some more. The heat has been unbearable here lately. So tanks are my friend because it is so hot outside. Please stop running in and out. Um, anywho, I just thought I would explain the change of outfit and now I'm gonna clean up this living room and this kitchen and yeah i'm gonna get this nice and tidy hopefully if i can keep the baby from waking up